guys, hello, my name is Matt. I am the owner of McGreevy K Company. Today we are going to be learning how to paint with gold. Um, like I said in my last video, gold is super trending right now, so we are going to use all kinds of gold. Um, there's three types in specific. Gold luster dust, gold paint, and gold leaf. I have my little friend Groot over here. Um, we just had the Avengers movie um, come out, Infinity Wars, so we are going to make a cake inspired by that. The villain Thanos actually has an Infinity Gauntlet um, that has six different gems on it. Um, so we are going to be making a cake inspired by that. I have a script that I'm gonna just tell you what the colors mean, because I don't have them memorized. Um, there's the red one, which is power. Um, yellow is the reality stone, um, orange is time, blue is a mind, purple is space, and green is soul. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you what you need. All right, guys, you will need a frosted and fondant covered cake. You will need candy gems. You will need some brushes. You will need gold food dye. You will need gold luster dust, gold leaf. You will need some paint palettes and a knife. All right guys, so now that we have everything we need to get started, um, I'm gonna show you how to use the different types of gold. For the sake of the cake, I would normally just do one set of gold. So whether that be um, covering it all in luster dust or covering it all in gold paint, um, I would just do one media usually, but I'm gonna show you all three of them on the cake. So it's gonna be gold as heckness. Um, <laughs> so let me show you the first one. The first one we're gonna do is luster dust. As in all my videos, I'm kind of obsessed with this stuff because it is super pigmented. So we're gonna go ahead and put a ton of it on this paint palette. And then we're gonna be liberal with this. Because we're doing the whole entire cake with gold and not accenting, um, we're gonna go ahead and use a lot of the gold um, luster dust. We are going to paint with our um, luster dust to get it nice and ungranulated. And as you can see how metallic that is, um, we're just gonna go ahead and dab like crazy. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you what um, this looks like just using one of the medias, um, just the luster dust. Of the three of them, I would say luster dust is probably the most pigmented, but I left some spot on the back so I can show you the other two types of gold. So the next one we're gonna do is um, some gold paint. Um, this one I use mostly when I'm doing like a paint stroke or if I'm outlining something, then I'll use the liquid gold. I have two different shades of gold. I have a dark metallic, get out of there. And then I also have a light gold. So I have my brush, like I said, whenever I'm using a paint, it is a flat brush. Aesthetic. And so that's what a light gold looks like. Dark gold. The reason I um, seldomly use the dark gold, whenever you buy a dark gold, it tends to look almost coppery. So I tend to stray away from that um, unless I absolutely need it or I'll combine it with another color. But we're gonna go ahead and just show you. You have to be very generous with the gold um, food coloring because it doesn't stay as pigmented as the powder does. Um, so that is how to do food coloring. The last thing I'm gonna show you is gold leaf. Um, for this one, I'm gonna take the gloves off. So gold leaf, this stuff is crazy to work with. It is super cool, but it, see, look, it's already sticking. Um, it is very sensitive. So think of this like a very, 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 very thin layer of sugar um, that's very delicate. So you have to be very, very fast when you work with this. So watch, I'm gonna take it. And then it's just so it's already adhesing to my finger. And then you wanna dab it on the cake. I think I said the word dab so many times in this video. And then slowly pat it in. So you're gonna to wanna to use gold leaf um, when you want texture on your cake. That's the word I'm looking for. As you can see, as doing a little spin, it creates um, a 3D effect and it, it gives it dimension. It gives it a texture, it gives it kind of, it brings it some life. So as you can see, coverage, detailing, and then dimension. So those are the different types of gold you can use. Um, I use all three, honestly, equivalently. Um, it just depends what I'm doing. 
This is the first time I've actually used Luster Dust to completely cover a cake. Um, I use Gold Leaf a lot when I'm working with flowers, pro tip. And then I use, I really only use the gold food coloring when I'm outlining something. So that's kind of the gist of how to work with gold, but I'm gonna get a little fun and I'm gonna do the Avengers themed um, gauntlet cake and I'll show you what I did with that. I made these and I'm going to do a video on it, I promise. Um, I like to do paint stroke um, white chocolate garnish. So what I did is I made some paint stroke effects I made some chocolate, which I can, or um, what you call it? Hard candy. I made some hard candy, and I could do a recipe way later. We're gonna just stick to designing and decorating cakes. I can get into those little things later. Um, and then I just kind of adhesed it to the paint stroke as it was drying, and I added some colors. So I have all six different colors, so now I'm going to put on my cake. So one thing that I really like to do when I am working with cakes is I like to create a 3D effect almost always. And one of my niches is my lids do not close on the boxes of my cake because I like to build height, I like to build um, character, <laughs> as cheesy as that sounds. So when I'm putting these garnishments on top, they're actually gonna stick out of the cake this way going upwards. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of different slits and insert my, uh, my chocolate pieces. This could honestly, this is the first time I'm using hard candy in cake, so this could turn out terribly. So we're gonna look at this, look at this. This could potentially look cool, but we're gonna try and make it look cool. This is what it looks like so far. Um, like I said, I like to make dimension in my cake and give it some personality. So we have all kinds of cool ominous going on like this. So I'm gonna put some gold leaf on the front of the cake um, to really give it some texture. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna do some accenting on these pieces. Um, like I said, guys, I'm gonna say it in every video, details matter. So I'm gonna go in hard real quick with some of my pearl luster dust and I'm gonna hit up uh, my actual gems and it's going it's so little but you don't want the gems to get lost in the metallicness of the cake so it's gonna be hard to see but if you could see this purple one versus all of the other ones is really popping versus um, in comparison to the contrast of the cake all right guys so this is the Infinity Wars themed cake we made together today. Um, I showed you how to use three different types of gold so you're ready to be bad at bougie and keep up with Pinterest and all the other trending stuff. Next week, I'm gonna kind of tone it down a little bit. I showed you some cool different um, techniques that I personally use, but we're gonna go to the basics and I'm gonna show you some basic piping techniques. Um, Matt McGreevy style. I'm not a professional baker, so I'll show you to the best of my knowledge. So stay tuned for next week. Um, as always, like me on all my social medias, please. I would really appreciate it. Thank you again. Stay tuned for next time. Um, as always, I love you guys. Peace.